Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. We have had only five days this entire winter with high temperatures below 20 degrees. Well, we've got two more on the way as we head through the next seven days. Here's a look at your temperature trend for the next week or so. Tomorrow and Thursday will feature high temperatures below 20 degrees. After that, we're going to warm up again. We'll see some 30s return by the weekend. Right now, we are looking at mid to upper 20s across the bulk of the viewing area. Farther north and west behind a cold front, temperatures have dropped into the mid and upper teens. Right now in the valley, the sun has set, but we still have some daylight in the sky. We had tons of sunshine this afternoon. A good opportunity to get out and clear the snow that fell last night. Some very heavy snow amounts in several locations. Totals range from around an inch south and east of Lake Winnebago to around eight inches north and west of the Fox Valley. Some specifics include 8.3 in the Marinette Menominee area, 6.4 in Green Bay, and about four inches in Oshkosh. So far this winter season, we have now picked up 58 inches of snow. Typically for an entire winter season, we pick up 51.4 inches of snow, so we're already above that, and we still have the rest of February, March, April, and May to go, which is typically another 14 and a half inches. So if we just see another 14 and a half inches, that'll put us up at around 70 to 75 inches for the winter, making this a top 15 or top 20 snowiest winters on record. Right now we've got a few light snow showers and flurries north and west of Green Bay in association with a cold front that is now moving into northeast Wisconsin. Behind it we've got high pressure and that area of high pressure will be our main weather maker here for the rest of the week giving us lots of sunshine and cold temperatures. All this cold air up across Minnesota and the Dakotas will work in here later on tonight into tomorrow morning with some gusty winds. That means some chilly wind chills are on the way. Once again, we do have a wind chill advisory for Langley County for tonight into tomorrow morning, but we're all going to be looking at frigid chills by tomorrow morning. Most of us will see wind chills in the teens below zero and they're going to stay below zero all day long, even with tons and tons of sunshine. High temperatures tomorrow, about 15 degrees below normal for mid to late February. Sky cast shows Clear skies tomorrow. We'll have clear skies tomorrow night and with lighter winds. Temperatures will be dropping well below zero. Lots of sunshine on Thursday, but colder highs only in the lower to mid teens. Tonight, look for frigid wind chills with lows around zero. Clear skies after a few flurries. Tomorrow, sunny skies, breezy and cold. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 15. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Agape of Appleton. And we did that today. I forecast an early morning high of 33. That high temperature was. 33 degrees, which means I've now hit 100 of the last 103 three degree guarantee forecast. Quiet weather Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Lots of sunshine. Eight below Thursday morning, and then we'll start to warm up after that. Mid 30s Saturday afternoon, and we'll keep on warming up into Sunday and Monday with upper 30s, close to 40 in a few spots. Really nothing going on except for a slow warm up after Thursday. Maybe some snow coming in late Tuesday. So we had all that snow, and if you didn't get rid of it, it's so cold now, you probably can't move it till no, it's, June. Yeah, it was melting today with the sun, but tonight it's freezing up pretty quickly. And it's going to be there for the next couple of days. I want you to know I practice what I preach, and I shoveled around the hydrant again today. Good for you. Since we're always Good talking about that. Good for you. My husband that. did the same, because it's a safety measure for it's the sure. the right thing to do. Well, with only a handful of days left in